I think Paris uh, will mean several things for India. Number one, India has to recognize that the agreement is important because it is endorsing what India is already planning to do, which is, say, scaling up its renewable energy ambitions from uh, 5,000 megawatts of solar to 100,000 megawatts of solar, for instance. Um, so the fact that the agreement endorses these nationally determined contributions uh, is an acknowledgement of India's ambitions, but also puts pressure on India to achieve those targets. Number two, India has to step forward and work on the rules and the modalities that will help to operationalize the agreement, particularly in areas that are important for India. That will be on the monitoring and transparency. This is not just monitoring of India's emissions, but also how the largest emitters, say the European Union, uh, the United States, China, how they are performing. Uh, so unless India is able to work with other countries to develop an effective monitoring mechanism, it's going to be hard to operationalize the agreement. The third area in which it's going to be extremely important is on finance. And as the Paris Agreement endorses the floor under $100 billion, the effort for India has to be how do we multiply that $100 billion into several hundred billion dollars of both public and private investment? Because we need some of that money to flow into India for our renewable energy scale up. And fourthly, the most important, I think, uh, issue that will come out of Paris in terms of India's interests is how you can use the Paris platform to create effective partnerships on technology with other like-minded countries, whether those technologies are in renewable energy, in cleaner fossil fuels, in energy efficiency, and so forth. If India can be part of developing the next generation of technologies with other countries, then Paris really serves its purpose.